Hey everyone, what's going on? Charlie here. Um, so I have a bit of a question. So I was looking at FINRA's website and we did have a regulatory notice 21 through 27 come out uh, last Thursday. Now this affects uh, C SEA rule 15 C3, which is basically a rule where broker dealers have to separate their own cash from their customers cash. But these are all um, changes, right? So we've had in interpretations that have been added into all these rules here. Um, now, the question I had is that I cannot see the ones that I want to look at. Um, the only ones that I can see, and this is the the rule right here, it's 236 pages long, but if I go here and I type in uh, notice 21 through 27, because that's what you know it's going to be related to, anything that says FINRA regulatory notice 2127 for the section, this is what was changed. So Additional net capital requirement, we have that. We have accrued liability for concessions or commissions payable. We have indebtedness in the uh, proprietary trading account of a broker dealer. We also have service arrangement with a parent or an affiliate. But anyways, um, the question I have is why can I not get to the ones that are juicy, right? The, the, I, I'm thinking it has something to do with it being in an exhibit, but so basically it ties into the SFT filing almost. So the exclusion of omnibus accounts from the requirements of note E, um, netting a customer's account balance when preparing the reserve form in the computation under the alternative standard, exhibit A, the term debts in customer's account collateralized by security subject to restrictions. And then there's also ones that have been rescinded, which are Federal Reserve Bank as a non-customer and commissions or concessions receivable versus commissions or concessions payable. So again, while this is interesting and it looks like it may tie into the SFT, not sure why the rule filing here, the, the rule itself only goes to page 855 when it should go to over 2000. So a little confused. Anyone have any idea about this? FINRA is not my uh, forte, so if anyone out there knows, let me know.